All right, hey again. Since I'm already in tutorial mode, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to how I get my deep rich brown color. There's one shade. One of them is a little bit darker, and it just depends on how much how you how how long you're willing to work at it to get this effect. Um, I love it. Let me pick these up. But these are the only tools that I need. My podge, a brush, and I, of course I'm gonna use the same little thing that I used to make my two hole punch since I use craft paper. Yay, me. Anyway, these are all the distress inks that I use to make that. This is the, what is that? Uh, Walnut stain, a thousand uh, vintage photos, saddle brown that stays on. I just dig in and find whatever brown I can find and this and one more brown. I use this one too. So all I do is, and I need this tool also. And I just start with whatever, whatever brown I feel like messing with at the time. And then I just start in. I'm probably just gonna do one side for the tutorial. So I do all this first. See, with the liquid, you go a little bit faster. But I don't have the liquid, so I use what I have. One day I'll have money and I'll buy the liquid. The uh, liquid distress stain make up make my process a whole lot easy, easier but I really don't even mind it it's not that bad sometimes I just do it while I'm watching TV you may run out of distress ink and I just keep doing it and I just get another one this is just plain old elbow grease and you just keep going over it until you have the desired look that you want. See how dark that's getting? And sometimes I just open another one in case, it be, in case it's drying out or whatever. And I let, let it re soak. Let them re soak up. I flip them over, keep them juices flowing. But anyway, it's already getting dark already. And I'll just start adding a little bit of walnut stain to darken it up some more. And pretty much that's all you do. Nothing. And I would love to leave it this way without the Mod Podge, but um, I'm always scared like somebody gonna spill something on it and it's not gonna be coated coated well enough, you know, to you you might ruin your whole project. But you can see the difference. This is the plain craft paper. Now look at that. That's my leather. And then all I do. After that, you just modge podge over the top, and you're gonna get some funky green color on your brush. Well, it doesn't really show up. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's starting to look a nasty shade. And this is just plain old March Podge. And I'm not going to dry it or anything. I don't like to heat dry March Podge. To me, it doesn't dry well, makes it stickier than it already is. So I usually just let it air dry. 
And that's pretty much it. And then I just kind of wait it out, but see, you can already see the effect already beginning to take place. And I mean, that is just it. Short and sweet. Um, I'll see if I can give it a little bit, a little bit of a push. It's my heat tool. You know, I wouldn't normally do that. I would just set this to the side and just let it dry. But just look at that. I love it. I might have to finish this and use this as a real cover of something. But anyway, that's my leather feel. It's not that bad. Quick and easy. So, and there you have it. I hope I've been very helpful or inspirational. But thanks for watching. Bye-bye.